In a striking example of battlefield ingenuity, Ukraine has repurposed a classic agricultural aircraft into an unconventional air defense tool. Recent footage shared by the Asin Group TYSK on Telegram reveals a Zlin Z-137 Agro Turbo, originally a 1980s-era Czech turboprop crop duster, fitted with two R-73 infrared-guided air-to-air missiles. This adaptation highlights Kiev's resourceful approach to combating the increasing menace of slow, low-flying drones, such as Russia's shahid slash 2 models. This innovative conversion exemplifies Ukraine's broader strategy of retrofitting civilian platforms for military use. By integrating legacy missile systems like the R-73, a short-range missile known to NATO as the AA-11 Archer, into diverse delivery vehicles, from fighters to improvised ground launchers and naval drones, Ukraine maximizes its available arsenal against evolving aerial threats. The Z-137, with its inherent low-speed, low-altitude flight characteristics, fits naturally into the counter-UAV role, patrolling areas where drone incursions occur without committing costly fighter jets. The specific aircraft in the footage sports a tactical gray paint scheme, accented by white recognition markings designed to minimize friendly fire risks. Under each wing, it carries a single R-73 missile, supported by two cylindrical attachments which may serve as auxiliary fuel tanks or remnants of its original agricultural function. The missile's advanced seeker head offers high off-bore sight targeting capability, making it well suited to engage agile drone targets that approach from unconventional angles. This Zlin transformation continues a pattern observed since the full-scale war's outset, wherein Ukraine adapts the R-73 missile for a range of platforms. Notably, these missiles have been installed on MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters, ground-based Gravehawk systems, modified 9K-33 OSA vehicles, and Sea Dragon unmanned surface vessels, with confirmed successes including the downing of Russian Mi-8 helicopters. Compared to specialized counter-drone solutions like the American Vampire system, which relies on less costly laser-guided rockets, the armed crop duster approach is pricier per engagement but benefits from rapid deployment using existing missile stocks. Historically, the concept isn't entirely novel. The U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command once deployed the OA-1K Sky Raider 2, derived from the air tractor at 802 crop duster, but primarily for light attack and reconnaissance missions rather than direct drone interception. Ukraine's current use case, however, is uniquely focused on the counter-drone challenge, reflecting urgent wartime pressures to adapt every possible asset. Strategically, Converting an outdated agricultural plane into an active air defense platform sends a strong message to both allies and adversaries. It showcases Kiev's ability to innovate under pressure, complicating enemy tactics by introducing unpredictable, low-cost aerial defenders. For countries confronting persistent drone threats but lacking advanced fighter fleets, Ukraine's model offers an intriguing template, pairing affordable airframes with effective missile systems to multiply defensive options. In operational terms, the diversification of R-73 deployment from jets to improvised ground and naval units and now to an armed turboprop, illustrates a flexible multi-domain approach to air defense. Whether this Zlin Z-137 Agro Turbo modification will engage in actual combat or remain experimental, it stands as a testament to Ukrainian ingenuity, turning every aircraft, no matter how humble, into a potential guardian against modern aerial threats.